Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the occasion of the 53rd anniversary of the BDF's establishment. His Royal Highness praised the honorable role of the BDF affiliates in assuming their national responsibility and praised their efforts in maintaining the national gains and achieving the aspiration of His Majesty the King to enhance the security and stability of the kingdom. In response, His Majesty sent a cable to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince in which he expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness and congratulated him on the BDF and the BDF affiliates on the occasion. His Majesty affirmed that the BDF will remain a strong pillar for the Kingdom. His Majesty appreciated the role and support of His Royal Highness in contributing to the achievements of the BDF. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the National Guard Commander His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa on the occasion of the 53rd anniversary of the BDF's establishment. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed hailed the support of His Majesty the King to the BDF, which contributed to its development, making it a source of pride. In response, His Majesty the King sent a cable to the National Guard Commander in which he expressed thanks for the congratulations. His Majesty asserted his pride in the achievement of the BDF and the National Guard, as well as all security forces in the Kingdom, expressing appreciation for His Highness's role in serving the Kingdom and protecting its national gains. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa on the 53rd anniversary of the BDF's establishment. The BDF Commander-in-Chief hailed the directors of His Majesty the King and his continuous support, which contributed to developing the BDF, its combat readiness and military discipline, as well as its reputation, which is a source of pride. He affirmed that the BDF personnel reiterate their allegiance to His Majesty the King to exert further efforts and sacrifices for the Kingdom. In response, His Majesty sent the Commander-in-Chief a cable in which he expressed appreciation to the BDF and its members for their congratulations on the occasion. His Majesty asserted that the BDF will remain strong with its competent members, expressing appreciation for their efforts and sacrifices. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander, received the BDF Commander-in-Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa at Safriya Palace in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Majesty the King also received Defense Affairs Minister Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan Al Naimi, Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagar Al Naimi, and a number of senior BDF officers. They extended sincere congratulations to His Majesty the King on the BDF's 53rd anniversary, valuing highly the unwavering royal support to the BDF and praying to Allah the Almighty to protect His Majesty the King to continue enhancing the development march witnessed by the Kingdom during his prosperous era. His Majesty expressed congratulations to all the BDF's officers, non-commissioned officers, servicemen and all the citizens on the glorious national occasion. His Majesty expressed his pride in the tremendous efforts exerted by all the BDF affiliates to protect the Kingdom's civilizational achievements, national unity and citizen security with competence, patriotic spirit and determination, stressing that they are the protective shield of the nation. His Majesty the King affirmed that the anniversary of the establishment of the BDF is a milestone in the Kingdom's national march, stressing that the BDF is progressing steadily thanks to the patriotic efforts of its brave personnel. His Majesty congratulated the BDF on the inauguration of the Mohammed bin Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa Cardiac Specialist Center, expressing pride in the state-of-the-art hospital that will deliver the best health services to the citizens. He appreciated the noble humanitarian efforts exerted by the hospital staff, noting that it will bring about a quantum leap in the field of health services with an efforts to increase the series of health facilities across the kingdom. His Majesty also lauded the inauguration of a number of new war vessels that will join the BDF, as well as other modern projects that will be open marking the anniversary and within the national efforts to develop Bahrain's armed forces. His Majesty valued highly the efforts made by the BDF within the landmark contributions of the National Medical Task Force for combating the coronavirus under the leadership of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to ensure the safety and security of all in Bahrain, stressing that joint work will continue in order to eradicate the global pandemic as soon as possible. His Majesty paid tribute to the BDF Commander-in-Chief for his continuous distinguished efforts to develop the BDF, expressing similar thanks to all the brave BDF servicemen for their dedication in serving the nation as well as to those who contributed to the BDF's march since its establishment. 
His Majesty expressed sincere thanks and pride in the brave BDF heroes who are participating in the noble missions outside Bahrain, wishing everyone further success. His Majesty the King then was presented with a commemorative gift from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince on the national occasion. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safiya Palace the outgoing British Defence Senior Advisor to the Middle East, Lieutenant General Sir John Lorimer, who introduced to him his successor, Air Marshal Martin Sampson. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa attended the meeting, during which His Majesty the King lauded the efforts exerted by Lieutenant General Sir John Lorimer to further strengthen historical bilateral relations and promote military and defense cooperation between the two friendly countries. His Majesty the King wished the Lieutenant General success and congratulated Air Marshal Martin Sampson on his new assignment, wishing him success. His Majesty the King expressed appreciation for the solid historical ties binding Bahrain and the United Kingdom, praising the long-standing cooperation between the two friendly countries, mainly in the defense and military fields. He also underscored the mutual keenness on further bolstering bilateral relations to achieve common goals and aspirations. Lieutenant General Sir John Lorimer and Air Marshal Martin Sampson expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King, commending His Majesty's keenness on further boosting historical relations of friendship and cooperation with the U.S. Okay. On behalf of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa inaugurated the Hamad bin Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa Cardiac Specialist Center in Awali. His Royal Highness welcomed the inauguration as a further example of innov innovation and development of the Bahraini healthcare sector under the leadership of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness paid tribute to the late His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, who played a central role in the development of the center. He noted that the center will transform Bahrain's cardiac care facilities and provide world-class services for patients, praising in particular the BDF for its efforts and contributions to developing the kingdom's health care sector alongside all other work and service to the kingdom and its citizens. His Royal Highness thanked the UAE for the support and cooperation it has extended to Bahrain through various initiatives, noting that this reflects the deep historic bonds that tie the two countries together. His Royal Highness expressed thanks to the Executive Director of the Mohammed bin Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa Cardiac Specialist Center, Dr. Raysan Ahmoud Al Badran, and all medical and administrative staff for their commitment to providing the highest levels of health care services. The Deputy Executive Director for Technical Affairs at the Specialist Center, Brigadier Dr. Fuad Abdul Qadir Mohammed Saeed, thanked His Royal Highness for inaugurating this world class facility, which takes place on the 53rd anniversary of the establishment of the BDF. Later, His Royal Highness watched a short film on the construction of the center before touring the premises and unveiling a commemorative plaque. His Royal Highness then received two commemorative gifts, one from the BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa and one from the Executive Director of the center.
And for more about the opening of the center, we are joined by the executive director of the Mohammed bin Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa Cardiac Specialist Center, Dr. Raysan Al Badran. Hello, doctor, and congratulations on the inauguration of the center. Can you tell us why the center is considered a milestone in the healthcare sector development in the Kingdom of Bahrain? Hello. Now, due to the magnificent foresight of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the total support of His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad, Crown Prince, Prime Minister, and the, for and the support of the former Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, they all have decided unanimously that there is a need for a dedicated facility for Bahrainis who suffer from heart disease. So uh, during, this is how it is, so uh, King Hamad, he set the wheel in motion by giving us land in Awali for building such institution. Now along, uh, alongside with that planning and building, there was the real realization that we need to train Bahraini doctors. So during all this time, we've been selecting those who have uh, interest in heart disease. And we, so far, we have trained 12 Bahraini doctors. Or we sent them abroad to internationally known institutions, mainly in Canada, USA, and UK. Now, this is very important. And in the, um, whether they are senior or when they are juniors, they all work as a team, which is really the essence of success. It doesn't matter how high or low in position you are, we all work as a team. The institution itself is completed building, and it's uh, seven levels. It takes 148 patients, it is divided to various areas. For example, we have a chest pain clinic, which takes any patients who have chest pain. We know we are abused most of the time, but it is worth saving some life. And after that, if there's anything, they go to the, uh, to the cardiac acute cardiac unit, which have 20 beds. And the, then after it, they can go to the wards which to continue till they're ready to go home. Now, each ward is, it takes, it had 14, um, 14 rooms. 10 rooms, every section has 10 rooms, singles. And every single room has its own bathroom. The other four rooms, it can take two patients only, and, and also it have its own bathrooms. It also have four cardiac catheterization laboratory and two surgical operating theaters, and one theater, which is very unusual, now you, this is something new, it's one theater which is both used for surgery and catheterization at the same time. And the reason I say it's new, it is very new, and only very few centers have them. You can do catheterization while you're doing surgery at the same time. Executive sure. Director of the Mohammed bin Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa Cardiac Specialist Center, Dr. Raysan Al Badran, thank you for joining us. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the UAE Minister of State for Entrepreneurship and SMEs Dr. Ahmed bin Hol Al Flasi at Rafah Palace. His Royal Highness affirmed that relations between the Kingdom and the UAE have grown stronger with the support of His Majesty the King and the President of the UAE, noting that bolstering economic and trade cooperation is of particular importance to mutual development. The Minister appreciated the support shown by His Royal Highness towards strengthening Bahraini Emirati cooperation, wishing the Kingdom continued progress. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed bin Rashid Al Zayani, also attended the meeting.
Marking the National Environment Day, which is observed on February 4th under the theme, We Preserve the Climate to Protect Future Generations, the personal representative of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for the Environment, His Honor Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, stressed that the National Environment Day is one of the most important occasions in the kingdom that are supported by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He described the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, as an incentive for SCE to continue implementing plans and initiatives to preserve a safe and civilizational environment in the kingdom. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah affirmed that the royal decree to create the post of special envoy for climate affairs reflects His Majesty the King's insightful and ambitious vision to advance climate-related work being one of the most important contemporary issues and one of the environmental challenges facing the whole world. His Highness called for collective efforts by citizens and residents regarding environmental and climate-related issues. He described the occasion as a reminder for the need to preserve the sustainable development goals and all environmental achievements brought about by the Kingdom. He added that it is also an occasion to join the world in protecting the environment and handling climate change on this planet. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah commended the efforts made by the SCA personnel in preparing and implementing strategies and initiatives. He stressed the Council's resolve to continue boosting the kingdom's national achievements as well as its regional and international status in the environment and sustainable development field during the prosperous era of His Majesty the King. And on this occasion, we are joined by Chief Executive of the Supreme Council for the Environment and Special Envoy for Climate Affairs, Dr. Mohammed bin Mbarak bin Dayna. Hello, Dr. Mohammed. Can you tell us about the Supreme Council for Environment's plans to fulfill the slogan of this year? Hi, thank you for having me. You know, the climate change is actually a, a worldwide issue. It's a, it's a, it's a, it will have an impact on everybody on this planet it's like the it's like the pandemic that we are having now and this is actually if we're not going to work on it from now um, we're going to face uh, huge uh, issues on the future the sea level rise as you know increasing in high temperature desertifications all this impact and the scarcity of water all these are expected to be the impact of the climate change so the slogan this year is about how can we educate um, ourselves and then on the national level about the importance of the climate change to save the future generations. Dr. Mohammed, how is Bahrain face faring in terms of protecting the environment and dealing with challenges? We're, I, think, I think we're getting ahead of um, a lot of countries on preparing for the climate change. We developed a plan for, for increasing the sea level rise. We set up a target from now to 2050 to uh, do an adaptation plan with the sea level rise up to 0.5 meters. We're developing a national adaptation investment plan, which is to finance any projects that is related to the adaptation of the climate change. And we're really looking at increasing the, the trees and the gardening in Bahrain with the protection of the water. So we're do, trying to do the, the balance between the both. All these three projects are really focusing on as our national determination contribution to, towards the climate change. Chief Executive of the Supreme Council for the Environment and Special Envoy for Climate Affairs, Dr. Mohammed bin Mbarak bin Daina, thank you for joining us. The National Security Advisor and Royal Guard Commander Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the outgoing British Defence Senior Advisor to the Middle East, Lieutenant General Sir John Lorimer, as he presented the new advisor, Air Commodore Sammy Sampson. His Highness praised the depth of the historical relations between the two kingdoms and expressed appreciation for the efforts made by the Lieutenant General in strengthening cooperation, wishing the new advisor success in his new duties. His Highness also hailed the United Kingdom's role in maintaining security and global peace. The British military attaché to Bahrain Marine Lieutenant Colonel Paul Windsor also presented.
the chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, signed a memorandum of understanding with Bahrain Polytechnic. As Saleh affirmed the council's keenness on broader cooperation and deeper exchange with various universities, institutes, and educational and training institutions. The Shura's commitment is based on its belief in the importance of continuous development and motivation for human resources and of investing in qualitative training opportunities and achieving valuable scientific additions. As Saleh praised Bahrain Polytechnic status in the academic and knowledge field as well as its remarkable contributions to enriching scientific progress in Bahrain and its competent graduates. The chairman of Bahrain Polytechnic Board of Trustees, Sheikh Hisham bin Abdulaziz Al Khalifa, lauded the Shura's interest in providing outstanding training for its employees and increasing cooperation with academic institutions to exchange scientific and practical experiences. Sheikh Hisham stressed Bahrain Polytechnic's keenness on to provide the best ex expertise and experiences in the field of training and scientific development and partnership in the field of specialized studies and research. The Shura Council and the University of Bahrain signed a memorandum of understanding and underscored the ongoing bilateral scientific and practical cooperation, the continuation of the exchange of academic and training expertise, the strengthening of communication to achieve common goals, and the opening of more coordination horizons in a manner that contributes to integration and the utilization of educational and training programs. The chairman of the Shura Council expressed pride in the advanced level of the University of Bahrain and its academic programs. He also underscore the keenness to sign the MOU with UOB to consolidate constructive cooperation particularly in the fields of training and development and conduct scientific research that support legislative work. The president of UOB Dr. Riyad Hamza commended the efforts of the Shura Council in developing the national legislation system affirming the university's pride and continuous cooperation with the council. The Board of Trustees of the Abdullah bin Khalid College for Islamic Studies held a meeting chaired by the Minister of Education, Dr. Majid al naimi remotely. The committee referred the staff and students list to the Academic Committee in order to issue a report in this regard in the next three weeks. It also discussed a number of topics related to the college in order to enhance the research process and establish a new committee for scientific research. The committee also discussed the budget for the college for the years 2021 and 2022 and plans to provide the best service for students. The Board of Trustees then expressed thanks and appreciation to the officials, teachers and students for their efforts during the exceptional circumstances. The national vaccination campaigns continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that the total number of individuals who have taken the vaccine has reached 175,094. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 4,889 with 242 recoveries and 553 registered new cases. 255 of the new cases are expatriates, 291 are contacts of active cases and 7 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus.